So I'm, uh, as a fan of Reaper, I'm very excited to see you uh, on a show. Um, so can you talk a little bit about kind of how you're approaching the show and what kind of big plans you may have this channel or any spoilers you want to give? Yeah, we did. Yeah, keep it to ourselves. Yeah. 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 But uh, what I will say is with, with eight episodes, um, we did eight episodes of Resurrection the first season. And so the way we did it on Resurrection is sort of how we're looking at this, which is like eight parts of a movie. Uh, it's a really nice number creatively to kind of craft uh, a season uh, and really kind of make things pay off and, and make all the things make sense, especially with the continuing storyline, which this will have elements of a continuing storyline and then, you know, missions that she can complete within a given week. Um, and I really liked how the one shot sort of set the tone where it sort of blends genres. So you've got action, you've got noir, you've got a little bit of sci-fi and humor. I mean, it was fun. Um, and fun. So I think we're taking a, totally taking a lot of our cues from the As, Are you finding any, like, problems considering that this is a great piece? Are you the blunders or are the things that you're, like, excited to do? I love it. I'm saying I'm so happy to not have um, cell phones. So <laughs> just creatively, it's awesome to not have, or to, because it really, when you're taking away the options and taking away what someone can do, it just creates drama and, and, and when you're taking away options like so I love it your, uh, your pilot writer just told us that yeah, Edwin Jarvis will be a character that they're introducing yeah, yeah. can you talk about that character and any others that you're able to say at this point that will be part of the, the sort of recurring or central cast uh, I would say Jarvis is going to work uh, with uh, Peggy in a way that they, they will be sort of uh, Paired up. And I mean, obviously, we'll be seeing the SSR often, yeah. and we'll be meeting other agents that she'll be working with. Yeah. But I think that close connection between her and Jarvis, like you said, is just such a nice kind of dynamic. I'm trying to think of like. So, yeah, the two-hander that yeah. you know, yeah. though she's it's a single lead, it gives her somebody who actually knows who she is because so much of her life is hidden. Yeah, she and can't tell people that she's an SSR. Um, and she can't tell people an SSR. But the you know the sort of dynamic in the in the one shot was that she's sort of secretly doing a mission. So, and there's a similar dynamic in the show where she's having to hide what she's doing from SSR. So there's she's sort of lying in all aspects of her life. So, yeah. and so Jarvis is an important character for us to have someone that she can be okay. with sounding for. Is he a little older? A little bit past yeah, so, we'll find out. Maybe. Speaking of possible future castings, and I asked the, uh, the writers, the other two, uh, Carter is actually famous for being one of the first interracial couples in comics. Are you planning on maybe uh, continuing that into the show? Uh, I would say all options are on the table. Any plans on introducing more female characters? Uh, yeah. More agents. I would say in her personal life and in her professional life. Yes. The, the rules of comic book type storytelling gives you a lot of latitude that you could potentially do a crossover with Agents of Shield. Um, through time travel or just through connection of history? Like, are you already talking about, since you're, you're sharing the same network and all that, are you talking about those kinds of concepts? I think that it, one of the things Marvel does so well is that there is an interconnectivity between all the properties. And obviously, we are working with the film side, with uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., and, and, and we will try to have those Easter eggs whenever whenever we know. Sense. We've worked with half the shield writers, so you know. <laughs> like I work with Jeff Bell, we work with Jed Moe and John Dawes. And so we talk about like, oh, it'd be fun to have even just not even if it's not like real crossover, but just Easter eggs, like or the shows speaking to each other. Sure, why not? I think that'd be fun. I mean, there's so I, that that's always something that we're always open to. 